In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about blurring images. Now we've got this Gaussian blur effect here, which has the effect of blending the pixels together to give them like a blurry effect, and it's to either greater or lesser degrees. This can remove this sort of jagged look we've got here. You can see this pixelization going on. Now all this, though this image looks nice and sharp, those jagged effects really don't look that good. So we can use some of these tools here. If I click Apply in the default settings, of course that, that's more of an effect for an effect's sake. It's not what we're really trying to achieve here. I just want to try and blend out or smooth out this sort of pixelization going on. So I can adjust this down to say 2 pixels and you can see that yes it has done that but it's, it's still too blurry. It doesn't really look that good. So I can reset that, try 1. Now it's starting to look a little bit better. We've got rid of some of those uh, artifacts there. I'll just try and at uh, say 0.7 and there you go. You, you've removed those artifacts uh, or certainly dulled them off and the image still looks nice and sharp. We click accept and you can compare the two together. The one below is the original image and you can see the jagged staircase effect. The one above has got that slight blurring to it. The image looks much better. It's overall a better appearance. So that's what we can use Gaussian Blur to do. So I'll just load that back in and I'll show you how you can just play around with some of these settings here. You can actually adjust the blur on the different channels here. So with a little bit of fiddling around and experimenting you can get all sorts of effects. I can only apply the blurring to say the green and blue channel and you can see what happens here. I start getting these sort of interesting effects happening and I can do this to all sorts of images and get all sorts of different ways and, uh, of, of, of creating these sorts of interesting effects. And you can keep going on um, and trying different things and I recommend you do that. By experimenting with some of these tools you'd be quite surprised the sorts of different uh, the effects you can get like this sort of like neon effect going around the edges like so. So that's where we find the blur tool and how we adjust these settings like so to get all these sorts of effects. And then we can just bring them back into the program like so and use them. That's the end of this lesson. Thank you.